Hello, hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a solo queue game where I drop 34 kills and only nine deaths. So it's a very dominant display of hopefully my abilities. And we're just gonna be talking about what's going on in uh, what's like, you know, what, what's my thought process? Why am I doing certain things? Um, I think there is one point where I'm accused of hacking in this, but the main the main reason for the video um, is just to talk about the skill based matchmaking and how the matchmaking works within rank play, because this is one of many examples of games which are just so unfairly weighted. So I'm in diamond at the point of recording. I haven't been playing much MW2, I've got to be honest, towards this season. So I'm only in diamond still. I know I'm slacking, but MW3 is around the corner. Motivation is fairly low, fairly low. Um, by the way, for those of you who have played the beta, how is it? How have you found it? I, unfortunately, I haven't managed to get my hands on it because I'm on a, I'm a PC slash Xbox gamer. So I'll be playing it this weekend. So you will be seeing a bunch of MW3 content this weekend. But yeah, for those of you who had played it, what are your thoughts on it? And for those of you who haven't, what are your hopes and improvements coming from what you've seen in the gameplay so far? Anyway, going back to what we were saying, um, I'm a Diamond player currently in this lobby and the lobby is... I think I'm the only Diamond player in the lobby at this point. So the gameplay you're watching is... Uh, a good showcase of many playing spawns, winning my gunfights, and I just don't know whether it was a fair, fair game. Um, in my personal humble opinion, <laughs> um, if you can call it that, um, I feel like if at least if there's one diamond on the other team, on my team, they should be matched against it. I know there's a little bit of, a, of an adjustment people do. So, for example, if you're in a four-man and you're coming against people who aren't in a four man, then chances are your the ranks you are playing against will be higher to account for the fact that you're in a squad and it's uh you've got the communication gain and things like that. So because I'm solo queuing, that's my guess as to what's happened here. But you're gonna be able to see from the display here that how just how dominant the gameplay is. They only get 78 points in the entire hard point game. Um so yeah, that's a, and they're already on 41. So that just shows you how dominant the gameplay is. Um, so you're going to see me hold a nice little angle here. This is my favorite angle to sort of take hold of here. Um, just because of the fact that you can see over the hill, you can see left. It's a very hard thing to see, especially with this new broken skin, by the way. Um, I wasn't going to rock it, but if you can't beat them, join them. I mean, it's only about busking. I haven't really put out too much money on it. Um, I've all the battle pass in season one, and it's just carried on through because I'm a grinder. Um, but yeah, the, the, this is what I like to do. One on one point. Realistically, I probably should have just stuck down there and you know, relied on my teammate. Um, but when you're solo queuing, you can't always do that. Now, I know there's only 20 seconds left to this, but I had a feeling this game was going to be an absolute walkthrough, which is why I chowed that. And worst case scenario, they kill me. They've got the block spawns and I spawn out anyway. So yeah, that's why I chowed that. I probably could have played my life a little bit more, made it 34 to 8 perhaps. Um, but yeah, realistically, all I'm trying to do is get a gauge of where they are on the map, have they managed to seep through the crack shed, um, or are they, you know, still sort of sat there side? And as you can tell from what I'm seeing here, uh, I checked P1, I checked front, and I've seen a good few people front. So I'm sort of just chilling, uh, chilling this sort of general vicinity here. Uh, I've been shot from P5, so I, I dip out and then try and retake position. My teammate's at dub steps currently, so he's blocking P1 spawns uh, or street spawns. Um, so they should be, they should have been spawning P5 there. So I did read it. Um, I do get deleted from the tax somehow at that range. Hopefully with the 150 HP in Modern Warfare 3, you die a little slower. Because um, I'd like to see a little bit of a skill gap in maneuverability and maintaining good and consistent aim. Um, I think that's all the pretty much increased health skill uh, adds as a skill gap. But anyway, they're on 66 points. And as I said, they get to 78 by the end of the game. So it is an absolute white wash from here on out. We get another 150 points, whereas they merely, merely get maybe 12 max. Um, so yeah, moving into P5. I sort of want to maintain this side of the map simply due to the fact that, um, you know, it's you can see the whole hill from the side of the map. If you're P2 and you've got an AR, you can look out and you've got full visibility of what's happening around you. Unfortunately, I didn't read the guy there because I just spawned there. But hey, it is what it is. Um, but considering these are a few deaths that I haven't managed to get kills on, you can only imagine what sort of streaks are going for the remainder of the game. Um, I don't want to bang on about it, but again, I fry, I fry. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get a decent map position in here. I'm sort of using my using my ears to sense whether or not people are going to be coming behind me. Um, somehow don't kill that guy up top. I think I must have wall banged slightly, but I, instead of ego challenge, I just decided to play my life. Um, and I haven't had an assist yet, so I sort of know he's still there. So this is why I'm sort of cautious of this. Managed to get the kill. Get a guy swan wandering from his spawn to P1. Um, yeah, so right now we're blocking most of these back spawns. I've just got three kills, so one may have seeped through to P2. 
Um, but I'm hoping that our teammate and myself pulled back quick enough in order to stop that from happening. So moving on to the next P1's set of rotations here. I'm sat on this godlike position. My teammate, actually, even though I'm solo queue, my teammates are doing the perfect thing they need They need to be doing in this situation here. They're blocking the spawns by being dubsteps. Um, and I'm, we're literally, me and my shots were all windy there, by the way. My guy, top of, top maps, and myself are just absolutely frying here. Um, I do fall, but it's a good job, really, because I needed ammo. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this guy. Shout out to this guy. Uh, just sat blocking. I mean, there's not, there's not much more you want from a teammate. Um, there's a triple kill. Can I get the quad? Yeah, there's the kill feed. There's a kill feed. So right now, because my teammates are blocking effectively, they're all going to be spawning ring. So I'm literally playing zombies mode at this point. Um, just watching them funnel through. He did a really good job of cameraing me there with a the drop shot around the corner. That's a good little use of maneuverability here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the lobby isn't fair. Like in, in the most short and sweet way of wording it, the lobby's not fair. Our team is simply better than their team. Maybe in an SD it may could have been different, um, but in a hard point where spawn spawns are key and shots are key and winning gunfights are key, um, you know, I don't feel like it's fair to have a diamond player playing against people who are or a whole team of people who are just platinum and gold. So I'm, do all, I'm doing my best here. You're not seeing much action because I'm just trying to block the spawns. Um, I noticed it's 30 seconds left now, so I so, you know, I'm going to leave the spawns. If they want to, they can spawn in behind us. Um, and it's at this point, the, the other teams start losing absolute full. You've just seen a team kill on the kill feed right there. We're rotating early and they've timed out. So he rage quit in short and um, yeah, we're laughing. We're laughing. So I did hear him above me, which is I was trying to play a little bit credit there. When you hear someone trying to say you don't want to make too much noise because that means that you, they can hear you. I mean, unless you've got Deddy, of course. Um, I try and maintain my position that I had previous set of rotations. I'm using my streaks because at the end of the day, the game's almost at a close here. And uh, I'm being the hill kitten. I know it's 4v3, but I'm thinking, you know what? In fairness, I could have made this game an absolute banger by just jumping off the hill. Um, but I thought, you know what? Let's get this game over and done with. Let's get the SR efficiency up and just uh, move on to the next one when we can. See, I think that's about going to do it. My teammates have pushed out some sort of premium cage here because chances are they can spawn top maps. But yeah, there it is. 34 kills. I only die nine times. I get a minion hill. And uh, yeah, it could have been even more dominant. So yeah, we've got two diamonds actually on the team. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what the skill based matchmaking was about here. Have you guys had similar experiences? Let me know if you have. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see Model Warfare 3 content, tips, tricks, class setups, map guides, spawn guides, all those sort of things going into Model Warfare 3 this coming year. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.